How's it going, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to No Holds Barred Wrestling Podcast, our WWE No Mercy Predictions Podcast. And we're here predicting the second SmackDown solely branded pay-per-view of the new era, I guess you can say, And since the brand split. So guys, as always, I am your host, the self-proclaimed greatest host, Kyle Masters. And I'm here joined by my corporate co-host, the blissful Cobra Cap. Champ now, baby. Champ now. Maybe we, soon to be two champions on yeah, this Yeah, we're doing show. our No Mercy predictions yeah. for this Sunday. It's going to be a crazy card this Sunday. Uh, we got eight confirmed matches. One is unreally confirmed, but well, it's a debut. And one um, is a pre-show garbage match. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Guys. Welcome to Noel's Bar Wrestling Podcast. If you do, or this is a new for you guys and first time listening, we do have a show once a week called The Lowdown Show Brand Wars, and it's broadcasted live on Speaker, speaker.com slash NHBWP. And after it is done, it is posted on our outlets. You can find us on YouTube, SoundCloud, iTunes, Spreaker, and Stitcher. We are everywhere for your enjoyment and wherever is easier and convenient for you to listen to, to us. New, con- new content as well. Yep. Unboxing videos. Yep. Unboxing shows. videos. Check we'll us out on happens. YouTube. Yeah. Just yep. check us out, guys, and uh, subscribe to the channel. Everything helps. Hit that like button. Everything you, whatever you want to do. Yep. We appreciate everything. So, yeah. Into No Mercy, guys. Really good card. I think this is really a boosted SmackDown pay per view. This is a little bit a uh, step up th- from Backlash, and I'm really excited for this. I couldn't even blame them because Backlash, they literally had two weeks to build feuds. Yeah. And now that they had time to build it, wow. Look what we're presented in front of us. Because I love, as we said before on the Lowdown show, SmackDown is just, it's good from top to bottom because every feud and every match on that show makes sense and it's worth watching. And now we're getting a pay per view and you look at the pay per view card and you're just like, uh, uh, unreal. Like, you, you couldn't ask for more. It's, I it's crazy. Think, sorry, I think the Wyatt and Orton feud is the worst of them all. Pretty much. <laughs> and that's. Not a bad thing, but no. that's like probably the worst feud going. Yeah. Right and I hope it's it better than what you know. I think it's better than. I hope it gets better than, from what we've been seeing the last couple of weeks. Like I understand what they did with the whole backstage thing and Orton. You yeah. know, you gotta have some entertainment on SmackDown. On. Yeah, I mean, I understand you, you have to fill it a little bit. Yeah, but um, I'm just hoping the match turns out, and they're actually gonna have a match this time. They yeah. didn't end up having one at Backlash, which sucked because Bray Wyatt just got lo- lost to Kane. Yeah. So let's hopefully we don't see Kane on this card. So we'll get one thing out of the way. Kurt Hawkins is making his debut. I don't want to talk about this guy. Yeah, uh, debut I match. Hate his stupid no mercy. vignettes <laughs> and stupid Kurt Hawkins facts. <laughs> oh like the worst thing I've ever seen. Oh, I think they're great. I think it's perfect. This is perfect. This is uh, definitely a, maybe a small jab at Matt Hardy's former character with his, all his fun facts this is and awful. his entrance. But this guy's actually saying it. And yeah, I know it's getting annoying now that like it's been forever. This since guy's not even gonna get a push. He's literally I hope he, gonna be a. Drama. I really hope it, that it his wrestling is better than his promos. I, I I really hope we 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 get something out of Kurt Hawkins. I really don't see him going anywhere. I see him getting. But we a haven't few, even seen him wrestle yet. We, I see him getting in a feud with Jack Swagger. I I, just, I want it. You can't. I, so you can't judge him completely until you see him wrestle, and then from there we can judge him. Okay, you because can judge the shining stars and their ten vignettes before they. Yeah, but the wrestling <laughs> sucks. It's it's garbage. It's not even exciting. Anyways, Kurt Hawkins, whatever, and I'm, I don't want. So move on to the thing we were just talking about: Bray Wyatt versus Randy Orton. Um, I think I, I really hope that they have a really good match. Um, we maybe say maybe we see Sister Abigail for the first time. Who knows? I mean, we we always get the the preach of Sister Abigail by Bray Wyatt. Yeah. Or then, is Eric Rowan going to get involved? Again? I don't think so. He's injured. I heard that he's injured. Uh, he's got torn rotator cuff. So we'll see what happens if they're even going to include him into this. Does Luke Harper come back? I heard he came back at a Raw live event. Oh. So I don't think he's even going to be on SmackDown. Oh. Okay. So I think we might get the debut of Sister Abigail. Well, either way, I'm still <laughs> going with the Bray Wyatt Barry train here, and, and I'm picking, picking Randy, Randy Orton. Orton. I think we're finally going to get a Bray Wyatt win. Uh, I'm picking Orton Bray comes in this back match. To put over Wyatt, huh? I think so. I think. Orton loses two pay per views in a row. Yeah, I think. <laughs> I, uh, I can't see Bray Wyatt losing again. It just it wouldn't make any sense. But, but if it's what they've done to him. I know for it's what they've been doing now. to him. Uh, I really want to see Randy Orton lose this match so I can finally, st- finally stop 
being pissed off at them burying Bray Wyatt constantly and making him lose 70% of his matches. I don't want it to get to 90. <laughs> I need it to stay at 70 or even start decreasing. Well, I don't know. I, I just think the WWE is going to go with the route to bury Bray yeah. Wyatt. I think again. something interesting is going to happen in this match. I hope so. Like hope something's something. going to pop out and stand out more than what we can see. Maybe. Um, so. so move on into a really, really anticipating match, and I really cannot wait for this. The Miz versus Dolph Ziggler for the Intercontinental Championship career, career versus, versus, title. versus title it is unbelievable. Unreal. The buildup for this has been just epic. We have Dolph Ziggler now tweeting all these pictures of him with former referees and stuff and like tweeting memories. I guess this is either teasing that he's going to be losing the match or it's just teasing and just putting uh, some more, it's just some more promo work into this match. Just he's promoing it through Twitter. It's crazy. I will put all the money I have in my bank account on this match that there's no way in hell Ziggler loses this match. Oof. For me, this is tough because I've been reading that Dolph Ziggler's getting there. He's, what, 36 years old. But he can still go. I know. I, I've he heard needs he, this job. I heard, he eventually, I heard himself, he said himself, he wants to eventually phase out into a backstage kind of role. And, you know, he wants to do some, he's got some other things he wants to do with his life as well. I know, so, but still, he's still got, he's still not in his prime, but he's still not over the hump yet. He's still got a lot to give in the ring. It's tough. I, I've had, I've been thinking about this match literally since it started. I don't know what's going to happen. Or there's this thing about this, pro, this match about, and I was thinking about this promo and just, mm. yeah. And then no one can get involved. We already, they already said that that if someone gets involved yeah. or Ziggler loses, he can't go to Raw, so it can't be any of that crap. Yeah. So it's straight up. If he loses, he's done. You know what? Okay. My answer would be I'm going to pick Ziggler, but I won't be surprised if he loses. That'll be my that'll be my prediction. I'll be shocked if he loses, to be honest. I don't know. I don't think they can bury him like that again. And they, I think they want to and make I, Miz a credible IC champion. Not, I, the SmackDown's a land of opportunity, and Dolph Ziggler is the ultimate underdog yeah. to finally get over. I guess. But uh, that put aside, both these guys are going to put on a really good match. Both have incredible wrestling ability. Like it's, you, you can say people just hate on The Miz, but you, you got to give it to him. He can wrestle a good match. Yep. And Ziggler, we've seen what he can do over the years. Yep. I think these guys are going to have a really unreal match. It's going to come down right to the light. It's going to be probably like a 30-minute match. I think so. Because like, SmackDown gives more time to their matches on pay-per-view so mm-hmm. far that we've seen for the last pay-per-view. So I think it's going to be a really good match. And again, I'm picking Ziggler as well, but I won't be surprised if he loses. So we'll move on. Oh, my God. <laughs> the great pre-show match. Ziggler, or wait, Ziggler, Swagger versus Corbin. And Corbin's my boy, so I hate seeing him in this type of situation, but... I think we're going to go to what you said in the lowdown show. I think he's just going to kick the crap out of Swagger and finally beat him, and that'll be it. None of this so. fake tap crap. I don't want to see that again. I don't want to see Swagger win by a botch again somehow. No, I don't want to see that, and that's all I got to say about that. And can we just add, say, where the hell is Apollo Crews now? Yeah, where is Apollo Crews? How this guy is supposed to be the, the next guy to get pushed, and he's just being kept off TV. Is he on main event? Is that what he's been? He's probably on main event. To? I haven't seen. Like I don't really care about main event, so I don't look. But he's probably on main event. <laughs> so we'll move on to the tag team championships. Swagger and Swagger, Swagger, Rhino and Slater, <laughs> the champions versus the Usos. The Usos and the Usos. Not anymore. I like the Usos now. And for the tag team titles, oh, man. This it's so it's call. could either go either way. It's another match that can go either way for me. You can pick Ethan Slate, you meet Heath Slater and Rhino to continue this yep. tag team champions trend, and everyone's getting behind them now. They're getting more over yeah. by the weeks, and it just makes sense for them to, to be champion. Or I can go to the Uso route, have them become that top heel on SmackDown, and assert themselves as the top heel by being the champions, and then feuding with American Alpha later down the line. See, like you said on the Lowdown Show, I don't know if they're trying to have Rhino and Slater be the new day of Raw, or if it's just going to be a one-off new day thing. Of SmackDown, or, yeah, yeah, I know or if it's just going to be a one-off and they're going to be done. Ugh. But I'm picking Uso still. Ooh, I'm picking Uso. My God, I think they are a really credible heel tag team right now. No, I, I think I'm going to have to agree with you in that pick as well. 
I think they're finally going to make the Usos a top heel on SmackDown. I mean, they were trying to make him the top face, yeah. and that didn't work. So making him the top heel only makes sense. And as much as I don't want Heath Slater and Rhino to not be or – as much as I don't want them to lose the titles – I think I Rhino think and Slater are going to – there's going to be some yep. deception here. I think they're going to eventually lead into a feud. Yeah. Rhino's going to turn on Slater. It's going to happen. And you and can still have Slater be a baby face and still get over with the crowd e- without yeah. the titles and this whole underdog story that he has. But I think the Usos are going to win. I agree with you. And then they're going to feud with American Alpha. And hopefully our boys, AA, can win the titles maybe at Survivor yeah. Series or After something After Jason like that. Jordan's – irrelevant win this week yeah. by a roll These guys are just so good, though. They're so good. So good. They're, they're going to be yeah. the best tag team going. Didn't Kurt Angle come out this week and say something about how he re- they remind him of Team Angle? Oh, uh, no. They interviewed Jason Jordan. Oh, okay. And they he was asked if they if uh, he sees a comparison as, uh, to Team Angle, and he says he does. And he says that Kurt Angle was definitely in, was actually one of the influences of him getting into WWE, so he sees why. There you go. So we... The Usos winning, becoming the new tag yeah, team champions. Yeah. But I would not be shocked if Rhino and Slater retained as well for one more month. Yeah, I don't I think it's going to be. Yeah, a again, long I see it both reign. ways as well. But I'm going to lean more towards the Usos. And if I had to pick one, I'd pick the Usos. But you know what? If Rhino and Slater win, I can be happy with that as yeah, well. Yeah, I'll be fine with that. If maybe they'll go one more pay per view and then they'll lose it at the next one. Yeah. Move on to the women's SmackDown Women's Championship. Sorry. Oh. Becky We're, Lynch for your girl. You would. Alexa. Bless. You would put this match first before the or before the other. Yeah, of course. Know, whatever. Oh man, the bias pick obviously wants me to say Alexa Bliss. For our picks on our goons document, for our you know actual yeah picks. Our, our goon friends yeah you know, you know yeah. we do picks every month with our buddies yeah I'm probably gonna pick Becky Lynch, but for the sake of the podcast and for me being corporate, I'm gonna say Alexa Bliss. <laughs> yeah, for me being. <laughs> The self-proclaimed greatest host. I'm going to go with the greatest pick. <laughs> Alexa Bliss. Oh, yeah. I'm picking Alexa Bliss. You know what? There's something about her, man, that's, that's turning Told my head you, right now. The it factor. She's got it. And I know they want Becky Lynch to be that top girl on SmackDown. <sighs> but putting my bias aside, because I fucking love Alexa, and I, I want It's it. just, it, it. all signs are pointing towards Alexa winning the title right now. And for her to, she could be such a good champion on SmackDown as that. She can, oh, she has so much. Uh, she has that, that, the resting bliss face. Said that, that you know what I mean? Factor. She yeah. has it. She has that heel persona. She has like the sexiest bitch face I've ever seen in my life. Mm-hmm. And she's got the, I don't think she's doing the Harley Quinn thing anymore. But still, <laughs> she's got that fiery heel type persona. The way she carries herself. It's just like, it reminds me of like a heel Trish Stratus. Yeah, yeah, okay, I see it now. And because yeah. Trish was like her, her influence growing up, so I, I definitely see that comparison. But I see Becky retaining the title because I'm, I think they want Becky to have a really good SmackDown title reign. Alexa won on, on SmackDown, so it made her look better. It made her look credible. Yeah. But I think Becky's going to go through the entire SmackDown See, roster. I can agree with that, too. And, like, again, this is another match where I can see I can see either way happening, and I'd be okay with either way happening. If Becky beat Alexa in this match... I'd be okay with it. I'm like, okay. Yep. They want to solidify herself as the number one woman on SmackDown and to be the champion and to carry that and to build herself as that number one champion and continue to go through all the pay-per-views defending that title and becoming yep. that. You can't just become a top diva on SmackDown by winning the title one and month lose, and losing yeah. it the next. I literally, that's why I think she's going to go through the whole raw. Like she's going to yeah. feel with everybody and ke- like, yeah, continue. Cause, cause you look at the, you look at raw line. who are the top two right now, Sasha and Charlotte. They've solidified themselves as the top two. Becky has not solidified herself as a top person on SmackDown because yep. you're overshadowed by Nikki Bella and her feuding with Carmella, and then you're overshadowed by, again, Alexa, who's coming up as this really, really top heel on yep. SmackDown. And then you got the Natty and Naomi thing yeah. going on. You're just you're overshadowed, but which is a good thing. You're overshadowed by more feuds happening on SmackDown yep. like it should be and more feuds in your division. So you, know, you want to solidify yourself as a top easier by... I mean, it's not really easy. You got to really go through the division to make yourself that more credible. Yeah. As well as to oppose Raw, it's really easy because they're only focusing yeah. on one feud. But she was the number one draft pick for a reason. So I see Becky, unfortunately, as it breaks my heart, retaining the title. 
but I'm really happy that they had Alexa get the first crack at Becky because she has a lot to give that not a lot of us seen down in NXT because she was with Blake and Murphy bullshit and yeah. she finally started to get the singles career afterwards, but she never even got an NXT title yeah. match. And I, I thought that's what was going to happen too after uh, Bailey left. It was going to be Alexa, but she gets brought up right away. Yep. So, so you know what? Uh, I like I like her style of wrestling. I've just from seeing her the last couple weeks on SmackDown. It's really turning my head. And the twisted bliss. Mm. Yeah, it's mm. it, she's good. But she's I good. Really, I'm, I'll give her that thumbs up to this match. Yeah. And I'm gonna again. I'm gonna stick with my pick. I think Alexa's gonna win. I hope Alexa wins. Yeah. But yeah, I, again, I as Becky's we said gonna. before, and as you said, and I said. We won't be surprised if Becky wins. It'll be okay if Becky won as well. Yep. Moving on to your girl, Bay Mella. The other match, Bay Mella <laughs> versus Nikki Bella. The end, of, mm. I guess, is the, the the final chapter in their uh, their undescribable feud because they haven't come out and said why are they feuding with each other. Carmella kind of did on Talking Smack a few weeks yeah. ago where she said that Nikki Bella stole her spotlight of coming home at SummerSlam. Whatever. I don't know. Um, I guess finally we're going to see it. I think it's going to be really, really a, physical match. I, this is a really good secondary feud. Just saying. Yeah. Like, if, I, it, a lot of people don't see it. This this is going to be very, very physical. These two are playing that we hate the shit out of each other so good. Especially Carmella. She, yeah, they just attack each other whenever they see each other. Especially Carmella. She's the one that's initiating every week. This is going to be good. I honestly think it's going to be a really, really good fight. Um, it's going to come down to the wire, but you know what? As much as I want my girl to win, you know, they're you know, in the back of your head, Bella. everyone knows yep. Nikki Bella being married to John Cena is always going to get that pay per view win. Yep. She's going to beat Carmella. Yep. She's going to win. Nikki Bella is finally going to get redemption on Bay Mella and unfortunately win yep. this match. As much as I want my girl to win, I can't, I, I want to go with the bias pick. Yep. And but, I can't go with a podcast pick. I can't go with the. I'm going to go with the goons pick as well. I'm picking Nikki Bell. But I still expect this to be a good match as well. Yeah. Ugh, I just hope it's not really short and bad. <laughs> it's going to be F A B U L O U S maybe. I hope so. Yep. <laughs> moonwalks. She moonwalks right into my heart. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to the main event, and surely the main event: AJ Styles versus Dean Ambrose versus John Cena for the wow. WWE World Heavyweight Championship. What a match! And you just listen to that. The World Heavyweight Championship is being defended in triple threat with AJ Styles, John Cena, and Dean Ambrose. All champions in their own right. Unbelievable. <coughs> the title of this match says it all. You don't even have to have the match to be excited for it. I think it's going to be freaking one of the matches of the night. We're going to see a lot. I think they're going to put a lot into this match. More than people see. People think it's going to be a traditional triple threat match where they kick one, kick someone's ass, and he stays off the ring for a bit while yep. they wrestle each other, and he comes back in late, and that's the end. No, I think we're going to get something completely different. There's going to be a lot of good spots in it. If I had to pick a winner, AJ Styles. I think they're going to keep the title on Styles, and they're going to carry with him because he's such a good world champion right now. He's so over, even though he's the heel in this. He's so over. With the crowd, he's carried, he sells he's the champ that runs the camp. <laughs> he's unreal. You can't, you can't. He's he's not bad at all. He's like some champions get boring after a while. Yep. I don't see him getting boring at all. And just like Becky, you can't make him credible by having him lose it one pay per view after. Yeah, you need if you want to make AJ Styles the top one of the top wrestlers on SmackDown and be one of the top people as in a John Cena t- caliber type. You can't make him lose already. I think Styles is the best wrestler in the company right now, to be honest. Raw and SmackDown. People can argue with that, but you know what? I I wouldn't argue with that because I think he is. He's an incredible piece of talent. I've been waiting for years since I've seen him yep. back in 2004 in TNA. I've been waiting for him to come back to the WWE. And now Vince has bought in TNA's library so we're we can see, showcase. We're gonna show, the, now he's going to showcase people like, look, this is where Styles came from and what he used to do and one of the matches he were he was in. And people yep. were like, oh my God. Styles is the best in the world. Like, he's so good. Like, I, I don't want to, like, you know, kiss his ass too much, but I literally think that he is the MVP of his of his brand. Like, yeah. he's the most valuable to his brand than anyone else. He is. You can make the argument that Owens is really good on Raw or Rollins or even Cena on SmackDown, but I think AJ Styles is the MVP of his brand. I think he is, too. He's definitely, besides Cena being their top guy and what he's done for the company. and Right now. I'm talking about right he's, now. He's a few, he, yeah. he, Cena's a bona fide Hall of Famer. Yeah. I think AJ Styles, Styles is, more is the important. best right now. He's the best yeah. in the world. I think he's SmackDown crazy. needs him right now, and I'm really glad that they have yeah, him. I'm really glad they have him. He, he's, he's making SmackDown a credible brand right now and, yeah. and credible for watching because 
He's just so entertaining. His wrestling's good. His promos are on point. Yeah, people just, say people say they don't they can't get into his character though. I don't they understand say that, that he doesn't have a that great of a character, but those people those people don't, don't a lot of and those are all up you casual people that don't know the styles before WWE. Yep. And the, the styles that we knew through TNA of him coming up in the X Division and him going through the thing with Aces and Nates and the main event Mafia. If you knew AJ Styles then and what he's done there and his New Japan circuit after that, you know yeah. that Styles he's has come a long way and he deserves everything he's getting right he's now. He's the only wrestler to hold all four major world titles. I mean, only wrestler. He's the only one that's done that. John Cena hasn't done that. Brock the Rock Lesnar hasn't done that. Done Hulk Hogan hasn't done that. No one's done that but AJ Styles. Yep. He finally gets his chance at WWE, and I, th- I think they should let him run with it for a while because he does deserve it. I'll give Dean and Cena props, too. They've really built up this feud as oh, yeah. well. Uh, 100%. Uh, and, and, like you're saying. I think if it was AJ and just Dean, I think it'd be boring as hell. I'm yep. glad they add Cena glad, and they yeah. brought him back for just, it and uh, to add some nostalgia and some more yeah. it factor to this match. Yeah, I just don't want to see AJ versus Dean again. Like, I kind of – I'm kind of been – kind of down on Dean lately. I'm kind of not enjoying him, but I mean, he's been better the last couple of weeks with his yeah. kind of more heel persona with Cena and calling out Cena. I like that, but Dean as a champion, I wasn't I wasn't feeling it. No, it, so, it got boring after a while. I see he it's like I said, he's one of those champions that get bored after a while. You get bored, you're like, "Okay, we need to see a change." Yeah, and like kind of I like can't Stone see Cold that with style. Podcast. Remember when Stone Cold called Dean out yeah, and said like right. we need you to I don't know if that was a shoot or what. But like I think there was some truth to that that Dean kind of needs to I don't know build off break what out he of his shell yeah. almost yeah and that, yeah Styles won't ever get boring as a champion he's, I don't he's think too so. good as long as he continues to have good heel promos and get I just better. hope after this match we see him feud with someone else into Survivor Series and if the rumors are true uh, there's rumors going around he's going to feud with Randy Orton but then do you have you can't have Orton lose yeah. I don't want face. him to win the title. I don't want him to be AJ Styles for the title, or else I'll be the maddest person in the world. But honestly, I think it's going to go. I think it's going to be Styles versus Cena at the next pay per view, probably yeah. Survivor Series. I think Cena's going to stay in this because of and the whole of the whole sixteen time world champion. 16. He's it's inevitable. It's going to happen. As much as I don't want it to happen, it's going to happen. He's going to tie Ric Flair. Yep, and it's over. And that's why I don't see Cena winning. Or losing this match, I think Styles pins Dean for the win. Ooh, I think Cena. You know what? Yeah, I see it. I, that's a good, good prediction. I think Cena's yeah. going to be. I think Dean's going to take the fall to AJ, and Cena's yeah. going to be just the, the one. And, that, and, and you know what? This is the only match on the card where I can go. All right, besides Corbin and Swagger, I guess, or I can, or I can sit there and go. You know what? I'd be pretty pissed if the other two won it. I I I, I can't. I sit think here. they would bury style. They would make them. They would just build them up. To yeah, just, I, I honestly would be pissed off if Dean won here or Cena. I'd be like, no, that's the wrong thing to do. Yep. You guys just ruined the entire pay per view by having that. You happen. Just won the fucking paper. The the title at the the first exactly, pay per view exactly. last last month. You just threw it in the garbage. You said, hey, you know what? Eh, we're gonna have Cena win the title. Oh, yep. oh, whoops! I dropped it in the trash. But like with the whole sixteen time storyline, I don't think it's gonna go away. So I think Styles is gonna feud with Cena. Yeah. And then, up to Survivor Series. Oh, as much as I don't want to happen, it's going to happen. And uh, I think as much as I don't want to say it, they'll probably have Cena win it. <laughs> Cena wins. I fell out. But I'd like Cena better as a champion than Dean right now. Yeah, yeah. Dean needs to uh, re- like, almost retool himself. I want to see it. I think Dean should feud with Corbin next. I think that'd be a good feud. Yeah, it's crazy because oh, the height factor is bugging me right now. But like he feuded with Apollo Crews and he's shorter and bare. And, yeah. I don't know. But Dean I think Ambrose they're both to fight with someone to make him look stronger. I yeah. think you know what would be good? Dean Ambrose versus Bray Wyatt. We've seen that before, though. Yeah. They've already had matches. I guess. One-on-one matches at pay-per-views. I don't know. I guess, yeah, Corbin versus, versus Ambrose would be good. We'll see I what I think happens. that'd be pretty good. But yeah, so I see Styles... Probably with the phenomenal forearm or something. Cena gets taken out, and Dean yeah. takes the the pinfall. So. Yeah, for sure. All right, and that guys, that's it. Our predictions for No Mercy. If you have your predictions yourself, we want to hear them. We want to hear your thoughts on No Mercy. So leave us in the YouTube comment section below on YouTube your predictions or tweet at us at No Holds Bar WP. Go ahead and follow us on there too, and subscribe to us on YouTube as well as you can listen to us on all our outlets, Stitcher. Spreaker, iTunes, and SoundCloud. We are everywhere for your enjoyment and where it's convenient and easier for you, you guys to listen to us. Guys, you can follow the podcast every week. The Lowdown Show, Brand Wars. It is where we discuss and review Monday Night Raw, Tuesday Night Smackdown, as well as we have our Twitter poll segment and the WWE headlines where we talk about any important news in the WWE. 
That's going to wrap it up for this week's predictions, guys. I'm your host, the self-proclaimed greatest host, Glorious. Kyle Masters. Glorious, Glorious host, Kyle oh. Masters. And I'm always continuing to be joined by my corporate co-host, the boss, Mr. Corporate himself, the blissful corporate happy. Mm, no mercy. Don't bliss me off this week. <laughs> and uh, happy Canadian Thanksgiving. Happy Canadian Thanksgiving to all of you guys out there. Enjoy the pay-per-view. <laughs>